Treasury yields remain stubbornly low. Yeah, we've had a few modest upticks trading north of 240. If that sounds like an uptick, it is. Uh, but we end the day south of 240 again, no matter what the news, no matter what the fundamentals, even the technicals right now are starting to look very bullish. And it just keeps leaning towards lower yields and higher prices, almost uh, to a fault, given the fact that equities kind of trade by each head, headline they get, whether it come from the Fed or whether it come from Washington or whether it come from the, from the companies that, that, that make up the indices, it seems that the bond market seems very much one-sided. And that is when you start to see things calm, when you start to see things normalize, the bond market takes one step towards that and then two steps the other way. And that's kind of what we're seeing now. Ten-year note yields below 240, remaining below 240, despite the fact that uh, things we heard today. And, and I think that market volatility is, uh, is starting to show you that, yeah, there is some concern here as we try to start to see market volatility uptick. We're not on the year to date highs. We're sort of somewhere just shy of them. But ultimately, I think the market's now looking for the potential or p possibility of a breakout. And in order to see that, we need to see yields push in the 10 year sector down below 237. And if that happens, I think you start to see, uh, you know, kind of an exaggerated knee jerk move. Likewise, I think that'll sort of send a ripple effects throughout the other asset class. Classes. I don't know how stocks would out, how, continue to perform well if bond yields continue to plummet. And I think that there's it continues to be that flight to quality move. So right now, bond yields on the lows of the range, nearing the year to date lows, while equities sort of trade up and down with uh, with whatever happens to be coming along the, the, the tape. Uh, I think today's FOMC minutes that came out didn't reveal anything new. Yeah, we knew the Fed wanted to be patient. We knew they wanted to pause. We knew they wanted to wait and see and all that. But ultimately, since uh, since the last time the Fed met in early May, which is really only th three weeks ago, uh, bond yields have continued to go down, despite the fact that we've seen equities sort of trade with that rocky volatile uh, levels after what we heard with China and trade and likewise. But they're they're starting to find their, their sea legs again, and we're not seeing the same in the bond market. Bond market continues to trend lower yields, despite the fact that the Fed says they want to be patient, they want to pause. Uh, they don't want to do anything. They, they see supportive growth. They see supportive uh, economic data. Likewise, the, the ripple effects from overseas uh, and trade have not yet harmed what is supposed to be a recovering U.S. economy. So I think the bond market right now standing on an island on its own while equities trade, while the Fed talks, while the dollar rallies, and while we start to see some of those other asset classes normalize, the bond market remains the one that stand out as we continue to see lower yields push. Uh, and I think a trade below the year-to-date lows of 237 will bring in more buyers and will only create more questions until we start to see some of this unravel. And I think at this point, the equity markets are going to have to be the first to go. But if they trade uh, away from expectations, that means lower equities, which will only feed this bull market in the bonds.